Hey everyone, Troy here, Swag Off Road. Today I want to give you all a product demonstration of our Swag Off Road finger brake. Uh, what separates the finger brake from our standard press brake kit are these five fingers machined out of one inch, I'm sorry, three quarter inch wide, four inch tall flat bar in five different sizes. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and nine and a half inches wide. These fingers get clamped in these two machine blocks machined at a 4140 and attach using the 11 tapped holes in those two bars. The neat thing about our finger press brake kit is it allows you to bend parts and allows you to jump over existing design constraints in the parts. For example, if you want to jump around a hole or if you want to form a box. Um, if you're working around existing structures and you only want to bend a section of the piece, you can do that with the finger brake kit. With our standard duty press brake kit with a solid top die, you don't have the option. It's an all or nothing routine. What I'm showing you right here is our heavy duty press brake kit. What separates the heavy duty press brake kit from our standard duty press brake kit is two things. The first of which is this bottom formed sheet metal bracket. The heavy duty version is 3 8 the standard duty version is quarter inch. The second part being the bottom piece of angle iron which forms the bottom die. Heavy duty version 3 8 standard duty version of quarter inch. Our heavy duty press brake kit allows you to bend full width, which is 19 inches wide of quarter inch thick steel. Neat thing about the heavy duty press brake kit is you can stack smaller pieces of angle iron in the bottom die set to give you a nice tight bend radius on thinner gauge sheet metal. So essentially it's an infinitely adjustable bottom die by just stacking angle iron. And for that reason alone, we sell probably five to one of the heavy duty kits for every one of the standard duty press brake kits. Harbor Freight continually runs sales to where you can pick up the 20 ton H frame press from them for around $150. Now by the time you factor in your time, materials, energy of trying to source it, fabricate it, weld it, paint it, $150 is a phenomenal value. This is the only kit out there on the market that we're aware of that is a do-it-yourself, weld-it-yourself-together kit. Now this accomplishes two things. It saves us time and saves you money. Our theory is if you need to bend metal, chances are you have the ability to weld it together. This kit is easily modified since it is a do-it-yourself-together kit. If your press was narrower, you'd simply drill a 7 8 diameter hole, that hole right there, move it in the desired width, cut off the excess. You do the same for the top beam clamp. Now if your press was wider, this would simply slide right on in. Keep in mind you'd be losing out on a couple of inches of potential width you could be utilizing, but for simplicity's sake of this kit, it'll definitely get the job done. The seen here is a Harbor Freight 20 ton H frame hydraulic press that has been powder coated black. I got, I got tired of orange. Uh, same one you can buy in stores, just a different color than the one you're going to find. Uh, set up here is our heavy duty finger brake kit. And I'm going to be bending a piece of 316 steel into one of our logo plates uh, to show you how like, you can bend around existing design features. On the right hand side of your screen is our heavy duty press brake kit. That's the full width top die so it does not have their movable or sliding fingers uh, seen here. So we have a one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and nine and a half inch dies. Let me zoom in, I'll give you a closer look. So this is the part we're gonna be bending. This is one of our logo plates. We're gonna be bending this section here and this top section. As such, the center part will not be bent due to the fingers. Uh, the full width top die, of course, you would not have an option. You'd be bending the whole entire width of the piece. Now, the way to loosen these fingers 
but you loosen, you loosen up these half inch bolts. So now the fingers can slide in or out, position them accordingly, get them where you need to be, tighten them up, We're gonna make magic happen. Center it up on the top die set. Minimize the deflection. In addition, you'll also notice down here we do sell arbor plates in three different sizes. We have eight and a half by ten, nine and three quarter by nine and three quarter, and a twelve by twelve. There you have it. That's the beauty about the finger brake kit. You can form boxes, lips, uh, sealed enclosures. Uh, again, this is available in our standard duty, heavy duty. We do sell a full width top die for a 12 ton, as well as a 40 inch wide press brake if you have different applications or different press altogether. If you have any questions, check out the website, swagoffroad.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.